Hello friends. Today in this session we will discuss Kolmogorov Smirnov goodness of fit test which is commonly known as KS test. There are three tests that can be used to determine the goodness of fit between observed data and estimated data and these tests are chi square test, KS test and AD test, Anderson Darling test. The chi square test I have already discussed in another video. Today we will discuss KS test. Similar to chi square test, this is also a non parametric test to determine the goodness of fit of a distribution. But it is applied to cumulative distribution function only when this CDF varies from 0 to 1. It determines how a model compares to actual observed data. This is often used to test the hypothesis that the given data follow a particular distribution. KS test is one sample test but more efficient than chi-square test for small samples and can be used for very small sample also where the chi-square test does not apply. The test statistic is independent of the expected frequency distribution. It only depends upon the sample size. One sample test is based on the maximum absolute difference between the values of empirical cumulative distribution of a random sample of size n and a specified theoretical cumulative distribution. It compares your data with a known distribution and lets you know if they have the same distribution, commonly used as a test for normality to see if your data is normally distributed. The case test cannot be used for discrete variables. And it is a four step process. The first is as usual that you define null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. And null hypothesis is generally taken as the data follow a particular distribution. And alternate hypothesis becomes that the data does not follow the distribution. Then define the level of significance alpha. It can be 0 0.05, 0 0.01 or 0.1. And then arrange the data in ascending order and then find the maximum difference between the observed and estimated values. Compare it with the critical value and then draw the inferences. So these are the four steps to apply KS test to any data. If D is the difference between the observed and the theoretical distribution and let us say D alpha is the tabulated value at particular level of significance alpha, then there can be two cases. Either D is less than D alpha. If it is so, then we, then we accept the hypothesis because we are in the region of acceptance. So we do not reject null hypothesis. That means the data follow the particular distribution. But if D is more than D alpha, then we reject the null hypothesis. That means the data do not follow a distribution. Now let me explain this procedure through some examples. Example one is that distance of 10 holes are measured from the edge of a 30 inch wide plate and the values are given here. Now these are the distances from edge of the plate in inches. So they are in random order, right? So you have to basically align them in ascending order. Now the question is determine whether these holes are punched uniformly or not. So there are 10 holes in a 30 inch wide plate. So for uniform distribution, every hole must be at 3 inch. For uniformity of the data, if x the distance of the hole from the edge, then null hypothesis should be that fx is x upon 30 for all values of x greater than 0. And when it is more than or equal to 30, it becomes 1. So that is cumulative distribution function of a uniform distribution. So null hypothesis is that the holes are uniformly distributed and the alternate hypothesis is that holes are not uniformly distributed. So we make a table here. This is the whole number 1 to 10 and that is theoretical distribution that every hole must be at 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and so on. That is the cumulative distribution function of uniform distribution. But distance observed 
in ascending order are this 2.4, 4.4, 4.8 and so on. Now, this distance upon 30 will be your observed distribution. So, this will be 2.4 upon 30. This will be 2.4 plus 4.4 upon 30 and so on. That is the cumulative distribution for observed data. And here in the last column, you take the difference between these two, Fx and Fo. So, this is the highest difference, maximum difference you get here, 0 0.193. So, that is the Ks value. So, Dmax here is 0 0.193 and for, let us say, alpha is equal to 0 0.05 and number of data sample is 10. So, we enter a standard table for alpha is equal to 0 0.05 and n is equal to 10, this value is 0 0.410. So, critical value or table value is 0 0.410. Now, you compare this value with this value. Since now this calculated value is less than tabulated value and therefore, we accept the hypothesis that these holes are uniformly distributed on the plate. Now, this can also be done by making cumulative distribution plot. So, you can make a plot between cumulative distribution function of observed and estimated distances. So, that is, these are the points which are observed data, cumulative distribution function of observed distances. And this red line here, diagonal line here is the theoretical distribution. So, the maximum difference here is 0.193 is here, same as we calculated in the last table. Now, another example could be that the students opting for civil engineering in five different institutes in the country in a particular year are given below. So, there are total 400 students and they have chosen the institute as per this number. So, 91 students have chosen institute number 1, 78 have the given choice for institute number 2 and so on. The question is, is there any difference in choice of the students for the institute or they are same? So, this problem can be solved. You have now the institute number 1 to 5 and number of students opting for the institutes is given in this column. So, you make three more columns here, four more columns rather. Now, theoretically, if there is no choice of the institute, then these 400 students must be distributed equally in five institutes and that is the theoretical distribution of the students. So, the observed distribution, observed cumulative distribution function will be 91 upon 400, that is the first, then the second, it is 91 plus 78, that is 169 upon 400. The third, 169 plus 74, that is 243 upon 400 and so on. And the theoretical distribution will be 80 upon 400, 160 upon 400, 240 upon 400 and so on. So, the maximum difference here, if you see, that is the difference between the two observed and theoretical and that is 11 upon 400. So, that is the maximum difference, 0 0.0275. Now, this tabular value of D for alpha is equal to 0 0.05 for large sample, if the sample size is more than 50, then this DT is given by this equation 1.36 upon square root of n. n is the sample size. So, we calculate this DT as 0 0.068 and now you compare this value with the maximum difference which you observed in this data that is 0 0.0275. Now, since this calculated value is less than tabulated value, so we accept the hypothesis that there is no difference in the number of students in different institutes. Example 3 is testing the fit of a distribution. Let us say headway measurement on a section of highway yielded the following results. That this is the headway between the vehicles and at the frequency. So, assume that these data will follow the negative exponential distribution. So, you fit the distribution and see whether your data follow 
the negative exponential distribution or not using k s test so first step here is to fit the negative exponential distribution here so for that this is the headway this is the frequency this is the midpoint of the headway 0 plus 2 upon 2 2 plus 4 by 2 and this is the frequency multiplied by headway midpoint of the headway fi into hi and you can calculate here the mean value so average headway will be summation of fi into hi upon summation of fi summation of fi is 373 that is total sum of frequencies total sample size and this is 1296 upon 373 so average headway is 3.47 second now this is required to determine the rate of flow so rate of arrival will be 1 upon t bar inverse of this value inverse of 3.47 and that is 0 0.288 vehicle per second and the equation for negative exponential distribution is that probability of headway being less than or equal to t is 1 minus e to the power minus qt and q here is 0 0.288 and therefore this equation becomes 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.2888 into t you can watch another video on negative exponential distribution to get more idea on this equation and fitting of the distribution now using this equation you calculate probability for value of t 1 2 3 and so on up to 13 and these are the values so this is the headway range observed frequency and the cumulative frequency and you can get here the observed cumulative distribution function so 120 upon 373 that is 0 0.321 and 228 upon 373 0 0.611 this by this that is 0 0.777 and so on and finally it will be 1. Now you add here two more columns and this is the estimated probability for headway being less than or equal to t using the negative exponential distribution equation. 0 0.251, 0 0.578, 0 0.763 and so on. And then you take the difference between these two, observed and estimated. So 0 0.321 minus 0 0.251 is 0 0.07 and similarly you can get the difference in each row here. So again the maximum difference here is 0 0.070. So that is the Dmax. D max is 0 0.073, sample size is 373 and if you take alpha 0 0.05 and you calculate what the table value of D, 1.36 upon square root of N that is 0 0.0704. Now since this value is more than this value and therefore we say that this data follow negative exponential distribution. So null hypothesis is accepted. The data follow the negative exponential distribution. So that is how we use KS test. Now few points on limitations of KS test. The KS test is less sensitive when the difference between curves is greatest at the beginning of or the end of the distribution. Now this you have seen here. Now the difference is maximum here. And this is the beginning of the curve. So when you have maximum difference at the beginning or at the end of the curve, then this KS test is not very sensitive. In that case, chi-square test is better. Second is that it works best only when the estimated distribution function deviates the most near the center of the distribution. So if you get the difference towards the center of this distribution here, then this is the best solution for best candidate for KS test and it does not work on numbers or frequencies you have to convert that into cumulative distribution function which will vary from 0 to 1. So it always works in ratios. So friends thank you very much for watching this video I hope you could understand the KS test how to use it in your engineering problems.